Martin, Kyungishan, Dojian. All right, guys, here we go. Game three between Alternate Attack and Acer. And up at the top left of the map in the pink, the manly, terrifying pink color is none other than Delphi or Delphi. Depends. I don't know how you would really pronounce that. If you want to do it the, the correct, I would assume Greek way go Delphi. Anyway, in the red at the bottom right part of the map, the winner of our last game, a pretty scary Zerg. It's Acer Nurcio. All right. So do you guys, think it's Delphi or Delphi? I have always said Delphi. I have always said Delphi, so it, I it, don't know. Is Delphi though. the, if you're talking about like the Greek city, yes, or whatever it is, is it Delphi? I think so, but I'm not totally sure. We'll I find don't know. out. We'll, we'll we'll find out. We we will get uh, we will get a response. I have always said, I, as, as the ignorant be. American that I am, I have always said Delphi because are there other countries other than the U.S.? I'm not sure. <laughs> I uh, think there are. <laughs> are there? It's possible. Oh, shattered my world. Um, there, I know there's one called Canada that mm. actually touches ours. Yes, the party yeah. hat on top of America. <laughs> anyway, so. I'm not going to. You know, so you're, not, no, no, you're not joining me on my uh, ignorant American rants. So Zerg versus yes, Zerg. Let's, that. let's focus. Let's focus here. Uh, okay. Settle right. down. I suppose. Simmer down now. Ooh, okay. Sure. 14 so, pool. Yep, 14 pool. We're probably going to see a, uh, well, we'll see if we do a 14 gas with uh, Nurcio as well. Mm. Um, you know, a lot of Zerg players like to go 14 gas, 14 pool, or 14 pool, 14 gas. Doesn't really matter. Oh. Either way you do it, it's going to be uh, either the start of a Baneling, Speedling, All In, or a Speedling Expand is just as common. In sure. the meantime, we also have ATN Delphi or Delphi, whatever it is, doing a hatchery first. So... Okay, well, yep. here we go. And uh, Nurcio, he did decide to go after 14 pool, 15 gas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Hatch that? first and then extractor first. So it's going to be pretty quick speed links for Delphi as well. Yeah, well, when you go hatch first and your opponent's on one base, uh, one thing you generally need to get really quickly is a Baneling nest just to kind yes. of stay alive because you know that they're going to have Zergling speed faster. They're right. going to be able to outmaneuver you. You need to compensate for that by having a Baneling nest a lot of times. Uh, that's not always true we see we see players like um i'm nest who actually go into roach warren a lot from that's that so just risky micro. though my god he's good enough to do it though no I mean, no no his decision making one is of the best zergs in the world but, yes um yeah uh, so you you can kind of make that decision it looks like it will be a speedling expand from nurcio too i was kind of i was kind of thinking this is becoming a lot more popular in zvz mm -hmm. um that's actually that's how i prefer to open i like to do the uh, speedling expand only I like to go a little bit earlier pool just to kind of get in there a little earlier and do some damage. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see if Delphi can defend it. Yep, there's a Baneling Nest. It's uh, pretty standard. It's going to help yep. them out. Exactly what uh, you had anticipated, and I definitely agree with you. And here comes the Zerglings in for Nurcio. Though perfect timing just popping, popping up. up there for Delphi. Now, of course, to get out that much earlier Baneling Nest, he did, of course, sacrifice the resources necessary to start his second queen, so we'll be a little bit slower there. But um, he's, got the I mean, he's gonna larva, be though, he's so. playing very safely. Yeah, yeah. That's if you go hatch first, you don't need your queen quite as fast sure. as you have a few extra larvae anyway. So it's generally right. okay. And you can see that he's he's pretty safe right now. Um, and you know he's going to be pretty safe for a while here because Nurcio is of course expanding and not going for any sort of crazy all in. He is getting a, a good view of everything going on in the base though. Oh. Boom. Queen does take out both the Zerglings. She's like, get out of my house. Nice job. And already two Banelings being started now for Delphi. Back yeah. on Nurcio's side of things. So he is trying to clear up this Overlord with oh, the man. Queen. This is going to be that's, the slowest engagement ever. That's a bit embarrassing, actually, yeah. to lose an Overlord to a Queen like that. Yeah. That's uh, something that you generally want to avoid, but there's no avoiding it this time. And here comes Delphi now, as uh, there's really not that many links out for Nurcio, and I'm sure he's not going to be happy to see those Bane links there. Oh, runs right around. Oh, kicking in the nos. It's oh, but there's another oh, Bane link. Man. Big Whoops. win there for Delphi. Yeah, that was a huge mistake by Nurcio. He's still going to be able to go in and maybe focus down a... No, not even able to really focus down a drone or two. Is he going to get one? Yes, he does one. get one drone. Yeah. But that is probably going to be about it. Nice target firing, trying to take care of the injured ones, but it's just not sure. going to be enough. Uh, Nurcio adding the Roach Warren as well. Yeah. And uh, he's not going to have Roaches out in time to try to focus down these Banelings, but with some proper maneuvering, he should be able to do okay against this. Yeah, he's got Zerglings in position. Yeah, and definitely. Oh, sure. he's actually just losing them. Queen's blocking the ramp as well. Yeah, he had a little bit of hole position on those uh, Zerglings up at the front, yeah. so the Banelings would auto-attack them. 
Nice job taking out the larvae there. Yeah. Not, not a bad decision out of Delphi. Of course, now we do have roaches thrown in. Oh! oh one we... queen goes down. Baneling makes its way through, but it looks like it's going to get blown up nice. before it can do any damage. Nurchio, though, loses one, then two drones, so not losing too that, bad. Yeah, losing that queen hurts a little bit. Um, it's not a huge deal, but it, it does hurt a little bit. Sure. Um, I, I Like you mentioned, where Delphi decided to take out the larva, um, little known fact, uh, the Banelings can take out Larva in one hit, so if you yeah. can get in there and do that, you can kind of reduce what they can make, which is always nice to do in a mirror matchup like sure. this, where every unit, every drone counts. Oh, and a counterattack from Nurchio. We'll have to see if Delphi is ready for this. He's making some drones as well as some Zerglings and Banelings, so I think he's going to be okay. The Spinecrawler isn't going to quite finish in time, right? but you know, we'll see. It's not a huge amount of roaches. Exactly, and it looks like that's going to get shot down. No Barry to pop up, and it looks like there will be... No, no that Transfusion's not really ready. The Banelings are actually just going to roll into the roaches. They do get yeah. the uh, maximum damage done, but of course, Banelings are still not that cost-effective against roaches at all. Yeah, roaches do have... Quite a few hit points. Just look at how much it's taking for oh, Delphi yeah. to take out these roaches. Yeah, especially being armored and all that and taking yeah. one less damage. And Zerglings on upgraded are not that powerful, and the list Generally. kind of goes on. But here you go. So it's basically even supply for our two players. Delphi is up in workers. But, of course, he is a little bit back in tech and deciding to actually quad gas with Lair at the same time. Hmm. All right. So moving into some higher tech here, we'll have yeah. to see. He hasn't put down a Roach Warren of his own quite yet, so he may be considering going into Mutalisk, actually, or maybe Infester. We'll have to see what he has planned. All right, a couple of Zerglings sneak on by. Ooh, nice job. That one actually getting a full view of what's going on. Sees a second gas coming up now. And also, more importantly, saw the lack of layer tech right away. So yeah. even if it is started right now, which it is, Nurchio decides to do that because his opponent didn't scout it. Um, has, it's still very, very delayed. Now, has Nurchio gotten plus one yet for his roaches? He no. hasn't. Okay, he's had that evolution chamber for a while, but hasn't yeah. been using it. You know, uh, albeit he's had to spend a lot of gas on roaches, but he really should get those upgrades going here. I mean, especially with his opponent on Lair already. Yeah, and there's the Spire. So, um, Nurchio may be in a little bit of trouble here. He does have the capacity, because of that evolution chamber, to make some spore crawlers if he needs to. But um, there's a good chance that Delphi is going to be able to come in and do some damage with those Mutalisks. Joa, you know what time it is? What time is it? Cool mid-game to late-game ZVZ that goes beyond Zirkling, Baneling, Tug of War. Yay! Awesome. I like that. No, I'm actually really excited to see this. So, uh, Because it's these different unit compositions that actually make the game very entertaining. We already have a lot of roaches out of Nurchio. I, I would suspect when Lair finishes that uh, I mean, it's either going to be Hydralisk or Infester, Oop. but eventually we'll arrive at that Roach Infester stage. Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. It looks like uh, Delphi is actually going to be bypassing that entire thing in favor of Mutalisks. And you know what? Mutalisks are pretty good against Roaches because Roaches cannot fire up. Ah, yes. So that does help. He's also Little taking his fact. third. Delphi is actually really impressing me right now. He's playing the hatch first ZVZ style extremely well and throwing yeah. in the switch to Mutalisk, which is something that a lot of Zerg players have always kind of played around with but haven't really done consistently. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. he's not going to really be able to do any damage there. And good awareness by Nurchio as well because Delphi just wanted to, to force those units back home to buy him more time for that Spire to finish up because only now is he starting those nine soon to be ten I would imagine. Yeah, there's ten Mutalisks so he yeah, just wanted to buy as much time as possible to save that hatchery but it's not going to happen. Starts another one in the pocket. Well the nice thing about this uh, this hatchery here having to cancel that is that it does kind of save him some time as well until the Mutalisks get out. I mean the Roaches could have just went right to the natural. Sure. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. And there we go. There's our first flock of mutas appearing. A couple more coming up after that, and that's 10 on the field right now. And, oh, uh -oh. roaches. They cannot be too happy to see that. We already do have pathogen glands on the way, so it is moving into that roach infester I was talking about. Yeah, and that's where things are going to get a little bit tricky for Delphi because, yeah, it's easy to kill off the roaches with mutas at this point, but once the infestors hit and you start having to worry about fungal growth on your mutalisks, it becomes a lot more difficult to harass and do yeah. damage. We also see some spore crawlers going up for Nurchio as well. Um, so if Delphi's going to do any damage with this, that'll be significant. It's going to be right now. We'll have to see what he can do. I think he's already started that, though. He's up by 20 supply. He's up a base, and uh, he actually does have the better tech at the moment. He's moving into Roaches a little bit later, but he's got all the relevant upgrades that are about to hit as well. We do have those five infestors, though, with pathogen glands that are going to hit for Nurchio, and that's could be make or break if he catches all those mutas at once, for, for example. Uh, right now, he's just kind of moving around the map, picking off some stragglers, taking control of the map, really. Yeah, definitely. Yep, still one Overlord on the very left side. I don't think Delphi has found it quite yet. No. Nope. Have to see. Nope, doesn't quite know it's there. 
And he's going to move up to four base now as uh, definitely moves across. And, yeah, plenty of spore crawlers up. Let's see here. Yeah, two with the natural as well. Pretty good coverage of those as well. Keep making sure that the inside track is going to be watched by queens and investors. Uh, oh, boy. So here come the mutas trying to do some damage. The spore crawler is right there. And, oh, yeah, he has to really be careful to watch out for the fungal oh, growth. Oh, no. Yep. And one muta does go down right away. Now, the nice thing about having these mutas out, it's going to be uh, fairly easy for him to control Nurcio as far as his expanding goes for a little sure. while anyway. He's going to be able to make sure that the third and the fourth are going to be much, much later than his. And you can really see the impact. The supply is looking really good. He's getting his own roaches, his own upgrades. He's getting a Hydralisk Cavern as well, or Hydralisk Den, rather. Yes. So uh, Delphi is still in pretty good shape in the ZVZ. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you, especially with just that much stuff that's actually coming out. And let's take a look at the economy. Pretty even, 69 drones to 63 at the moment. Of course, the extra base is going to help. There goes down the sport crawler. Uh -huh. and oh, if he gets a roach warrant, oh. that's actually going to slow down Nurcio quite a bit. He's going to get it. Yeah, nothing is going to stop him. Where are Nurcio's infestors right now? They're in the middle of the map. Oh, man, that did not go well for Nurcio. He's going to need to rebuild that war Roach Warren. The immortal words of Jeremy Clarkson, Ouch. that's not gone well. No. And uh, Sport Crawlers are actually doing their jobs, sending out to the middle of the map now to go ahead and cover this against um, the Mutas that are man. running across. But, I mean, th I love the, the tech switch now out of Delphi as well. I mean, this is largely... I mean, he used the units to do significant advantage, give him a huge economic boost in this game, mm -hmm. and then switches over to super high DPS units. And uh, I, I, I just think that well, that's a really, really good way to play the game. You know, it's interesting to see that this matchup because in Zerg versus Terran and Zerg versus Protoss, uh, Zerg players also do use Mutalisks to do some harassing as they transition into a later game sure. tech. So it's kind of cool to see that in ZVZ as well. Now, we caught a glimpse of those burrowed infestors. Those might be uh, up for some mischief uh, as they dun. move into the fourth base dun, of Delphi. Dun, 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 dun. Huh. Yep. Uh, so here come the infestors. Infested Terrans popping up. Perfect oh amount, boy. too. Not making sure that he uses all of his energy. He's going to get the hatch one way or another. Make sure he does it the right way. I think he might. Yeah, that might be enough to take up the hatch. Looks like it's going to be another cancel, though. And wow, Infested Terrans do a lot of damage. Yes, they do. And he's got to cancel that. Oh, Doesn't. no cancel. That's wow. a loss of 300 minerals right there for yes, Nurcio. It it's going to be tough. Here comes the big army for Delphi, though. He's got a lot of Hydralisks mixed in here as yeah. well. What nice a great fungal. What a great time to attack, too, when the upgrades are even. It's still another 15 seconds before plus two hits for Nurcio. It means that this attack is going to be a lot more powerful. Good fungals, though, as you mentioned, hitting so many units. Yeah, look at all those infestors dying, though, for Nurcio, though. He yeah. needed to keep those alive. And I've got a feeling Delphi is just going to roll right over our red Zerg player here. Yeah, the Hydras. Getting fungled, but it's not really going to matter. Even if he holds this off, he's going to be so far behind. Oh, no, when the drones come off the line, you know things are not going well. Right, and the Hydras have such high DPS, they just melt. I mean, the, the drones just actually melt. So now we're at yeah. half the supply uh, of Delphi for Nurcio. This is not looking good for him, and it looks like Delphi is going to take a game back here for ATN. Yep, I think so. I think it's going to go back in favor of ATN at this point. And let's see here, plus two is finished for those uh, units, but there's just there's just nothing on the field for yep. uh, Nurcio at all. He has 47 drones out there and just two roaches. That is going to be about it. It is a move time right now for our pink surge player. GG, that is it.